Welcome back guys to a very sad episode 99 the season finale the end of it all uh, Yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna take you through the base. We'll go through the base in detail. We'll go through the people We'll we'll talk about what's happened and we'll see what kind of state we can get in before we get the final launch of Sky and Nanny leaving the planet. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the next series, which I think is going to be kind of interesting. I've come up with an interesting idea for the next series. I'll tell you about that later. Right now, we've got a raid incoming. So, uh, what am I doing with you two? I don't even freaking remember now. <laughs> uh, go up there. Right. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what they do. Now, these are sappers, so they're going to try and dig through our walls or do something nasty to us. But we'll kind of see. We'll kind of see. Oh, we've got... Oh, see? He's trying to blast through there. They're trying to come through uh, here. Hi, Corbin. Go up to there. Yeah, have a bit of a shot at him. Or her. Kim. Ooh. She's not shooting back yet. Oh, some free shots. Back off. Oh. Go back up to there. See if you can get another shot in. Oh, oh yes. You hit Yoko. Go, go up to there. Get a few shots in. Oh. Come on. Oh, I caught me got shot. Yeah, she's down. Shoot that guy. Oh, now. You know what? Shoot that person. St shoot steroid who's got the freaking grenades oh good shot well oh, that guy's got a triple rocket launcher that's bad news okay we've got this guy down um uh, we've got nanny and ben ready to jump out and shoot these guys if they get the opportunity we've got skippy coming around the corner otherwise i'd send ben up here to shoot him so we kind of got to wait i think can you shoot skippy no. Oh, our guns are taking these guys out. Oh, like no problem. Come on, take Hammond before he shoots. Yes, down. And now they're fleeing. Right. Okay, you know what? You two, just get up. I don't know. Oh, man. Ben, get to... Oh, come on. Ben, get up to there. Nanny. I'm going to try and shoot these guys. Which way are they going? Oh, they're coming up there. Uh, Nanny, get to that corner. Go. See see how many of these you can kill. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, they got Ezra. Shoot Skippy. Shoot Skippy. I know he's a kangaroo, but shoot him anyway. Oh. Oh, they got Gary. Nanny. Move to there. Ben, move to there. Kill Skippy. Mow him down. Yes, good job. Well um, done. That being the case, you know what? While we've got everybody restricted, let's do, let's do the thrombos. Oh, good. Right now, run the hell away. Come down here, Ben. Whoa! Quick, get out of the way <laughs> before you get shot. Oh, nice. Oh, run away. <laughs> run away quick. Oh, for God's sake, die! Oh, finally. Oh, run away. Shoot it, Ben. Oh, run away, Ben. <laughs> Quick. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Oh, and it, finally it's down. Right, go. Uh, let's undraft you. Go. Oh, we can't. Need to unrestrict people. So let's unrestrict everybody so they can go and hunt that thrombo. There we go. Well, a last couple of thrombos. Oh, here we go. Creepy bound me. Come on. There we go. Oh, Big Ron's tamed another wild boar, which is kind of good news. We get some good animals now. We've got a bunch of muffalos. We've got a bunch of wild boar. We, do, we are going to need to start growing some grass. But I think after the next, uh, after the next crop of cotton comes in we can switch to some grass we've got more cotton coming in this is almost oh this is 100 percent grown so this is going to get harvested we've got a couple of breakdowns now as um as some of you noted i did sell some components but we got some more also 
Uh, there were some components just here, and I've asked them to mine that out, which they've already done. There were also some components... Uh, where the hell were they? Oh, uh, there were some components up here, and I've got them to mine those out as well. So we've got like... Well, look, we've got 32 components, so not a big deal. How are we doing with the flooring? Oh, we've just got this little bit down here to finish. This is all done. This is all done. This is all done. This is all done. So, yeah, we've only got to finish this little bit down here. And that's all the flooring done. Now, if we look around the base, we've got a little bit of smoothing to do. Oh, we've got some cargo pods. wonder what we're going to get. Oh, wonderful. We've got some slate blocks. Because <laughs> that's what we really need. Oh, we've got some more steel. That we do need. One thing that I ended up, like, never doing was um, I wanted to put, like, path... Let's do it now. Let's do it now. What the hell? Let's do it now. So, uh, what do I want? Flooring. Let's have nice slate tiles because they show up kind of well. We want to get rid of that now. Deconstruct. Because we've already moved Ugly Bob's corpse over to the Valley of the Dead. Doesn't this look nice now these are fully in bloom? Big Ron's visiting. Ah, he misses his old friend Ugly Bob. Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got that. We just need to do this last little bit. What the hell's that? I, oh, that is slate tile there. So I need to remove that and then put slate tile in there. Right. Let's hope somebody does that fairly quickly. I could get Jim to do it. Oh, Quinton. Quinton's done it. Who's that? Hammond. Yeah, well, he can go and get burned. Don't care about him. Right, so we put the last bit in there. Cool. Now, I would kind of like to put slight tiles in for this lot as well. There we go. Should we have a landing pad for this? Oh, I think we should, shouldn't we? The white ship should stand out better on a on a slate background. So that should look quite good. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Now we've got that airlock going out there. We should put some more slate tiles going out here. And then, I don't know, probably maybe like this going up past the ship up to here so they can get up to here quickly yeah maybe we put in slate tiles along the back of there and then I don't know maybe link that up what do you think yeah why not uh, in that case we should I don't know connect that up a little bit alright cool what about down here we've got now we've got a this is a granite path running up here uh, which comes up to this area. I think we'll link it up with a bit of slate behind there. Cool. All right. All right, get on with that. <laughs> That's quite a lot of work. That's a huge amount of work. You know what? While they're doing that, uh, let's see. Let's see where we are. We've got currently uh, 11,000 granite blocks. We've got 5,000 slate blocks. We've probably just used 5,000 slate blocks, putting all that lot in. Um, now, what should we do first? Should we look at the... the let's look at... Uh, let's look at the base. Let's go and have a look at the base. So what did we end up with? Well, we ended up with this great big storage area for just rubbish. Which is... Um, and this is a pretty nasty room. It's very ugly. But then it's kind of meant to be. We've got this last little bit of carpet to put in down here. Hopefully, by the time we get over to that area, it'll be done. So we've got the um, we've got the prison wing over here, marked out in red, with these uh, like pretty nice rooms for prisoner rooms, generally speaking. Um, now I never got around to doing the beds. Do you think I should do the beds? 
Should I, should I bother with the beds before? We, I don't think we should bother, really. <laughs> I mean, we've got most of the beds, and all the beds are, uh, are good quality or above, which I don't think is a bad thing. We've got another granite auto door breakdown. Um, this room, I never came up for, the, for a use for this room. Uh, it's very spacious, it's, uh, it's neutral, there's nothing in it except a couple of lights. This is basically a replacement for the stockpile that we used to have out here. Oh, we've got an exotic goods trader. Oh, can we get a bit more, bit more bionics? Maybe? Uh, yeah, go call them, Jim, wherever the hell you are. Here he is. What have they got? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. They got some sculptures. They got a mega screen TV. Oh, look at this! A grand sculpture. Pity we, it's a pity they're not traders down on the ground because I'd kill them all and nick it for certain. What else have they got? Uh, oh, come on! A power claw and a liver, and that's it. Really? Oh, there's an, a, an artistic neuro trainer. That'd be kind of good. Uh, they've got 48 components that we could buy if we wanted to. What are we up to? We're up to 40 though. So we don't. I mean, we don't really need them. Uh, any interest in animals? No, no interest in animals at all. Let's let's buy. I don't know. Let's buy a few components. Let's buy 20 components. Just 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 to get something. Okay, done. All right. How are our batteries looking now? Oh, Jones cleaning up all the fire foam from when we had our little accident in the battery room. Our batteries are kind of lasting quite well. We've got some cargo pods. Let's go check those out. Uh, oh, great. Marble blocks. Something else we don't need. And yeah, those can be hauled. All right, so. Did I? Yeah, I unrestricted, I unrestricted everybody. So hopefully everybody will get on with it. Lots of flooring to do. Now, we were, we were conducting our little run around the base. So, yeah, so this... Oh, go away. Oh, Taiko's pregnant. More puppies. Uh, we've got Vortex's little bedroom up there. So he can get to the kitchen quickly when he wakes up. Because he always wakes up hungry. Uh, where's his... Uh, where's his needs? Uh, yeah, he's, he's going to wake up hungry. But he's only got a very short route to go to get to the dining room have his breakfast the um the workshop kind of worked out well i i suppose what's going on now bit of a fight we've got a fire because so we've got a rainy thunderstorm but the rain will put the uh, put the fire out so that's nothing, nothing to worry about now we do we are missing um a bunch of auto doors do you think i should put those auto doors in before the end I kind of should, really, shouldn't I? I mean, it's not really needed. Oh, I did put, um, I did put a, st uh, um, a couple of, uh, you know, I put this this statue in here. Where would we put the other two statues? Um, we could put another statue in here to help cheer people up. This is because this is neutral. It's not particularly beautiful in here. Um, let's get another statue installed in the in the hospital. I think the statues are up here. Yeah, here we go. What's this one? This beauty is 77. There's another one somewhere, but that'll do. So let's have you installed in the hospital. Let's put Oh, you there. they're putting in the landing pad. That's very cool. Oh, you know what we should do? Oh, you know what we should do, guys? Oh, all right. Let's do this. Let's do this. We've got, we've got, we've got some components, and we've got a little bit of steel. Let's do this. Oh, this would be quite good. Put red lights on the corner, and then maybe in the middle there. And then we could put maybe some. I don't know. Maybe we put a couple of green lights up there. I think that might kind of look good. Yeah. Yeah. Any point having any blue light? Yeah, maybe I have like one blue light. Right at the front of the ship. Yeah, I'll have a blue light there. Why not? 
That could look that could look quite cool. Be quite cool getting those lights in though. Oh look at that. They were quick doing that, but that's because we've got the um, we've got steel and components like right by this area. I think I should have just done it with red lights. I don't see the point of that blue light. I don't mind. The, I don't mind the green light so much, but the um, the blue light. Yeah, it's kind of. I'm gonna. I'm gonna deconstruct that. Yeah, get rid of that one. Okay. So we were uh, we were on our tour of the base. <clears throat> so we've got uh, we've got the hydroponics area that we never ever finished. And I've got to say, in the next base, we need to pay a lot more attention to the hydroponics for certain. Oh, come on. Freaking infestation. Uh, that is not really what I needed right now. Let have another one. Can you shoot anything yet? Oh, come on. You've got to be able to shoot something from there. Oh, we've got one out in the corridor. Oh, this is like a scene from a film, isn't it? you got Mason, Jen, Innocent, oh, Audrey the Hawk. You don't want to go out there. Uh, draft. you got them, you know, innocently making love in their bedroom when they're outside. You've got monsters creeping around. Move, move, move. Oh, here comes Nanny. She's coming to, she's coming to call Sky in for his tea, probably. Sky, you're late for your tea. Yes, Mum. Oh, she's come to... Oh, she's... We've got insect for tea. All right, come on, kill this thing. Oh, nice hail of gunfire. Oh, nicely done. They definitely, they definitely need to... Tyler needs to add formations to this thing. He really does. Let's shoot that hive. We've still got a way to go to clear all the way down here. Oh, Capone's been uh, been sorted out. That's good news. Oh, oh. Ripley's having a mental break. Oh, come on. Ripley doesn't have mental breaks. Okay, so we need uh, somebody to replace her. So let's move... Where do we want to move up to? I want to move up to about there. Let's move everybody up to there and we'll get... I don't know. Oh, Amanda. Why didn't I think of Amanda earlier? Of course. Drafted. Get down here. Amanda, go on. Step up a little bit. God, it's... it's. I mean, taking these mobs down, it's not really like that hard, but it's quite painstaking to go through. The infestations is probably one of my least favourite events. Like, uh, like when you get into the, the kind of the end game. Oh, here we come on. Yes. So you, are you going to come up? No, you're not. Well, we'll move up to you then. What the hell? Ooh. Oh, they're coming now. Quick, get up there. There's two of them. Quick, 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 kill. Kill. And this one. Kill it. Good job. Well done. And this one. Oh, good job. Oh, nicely done. Apart from shooting Vogue cover. Apart from that, very well done. Right, Amanda. Move up to the next door. God, this, this really is cleaning it out section by section, isn't it? Get up there. Come on, Vogue cover. This is the last big one, I think. Yeah, and it's down. Yep, so all we've got to do is kill the hives. All right, well, shoot that one. Let's speed things up now. I've actually got a lot of stuff to go around and show you before we... Uh, oh, Vokova's now having a psychotic break. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, come on, see if we can finish this off. Don't shoot anybody. Don't shoot anybody. Vokova. Vokova's pretty lethal. He's a good shot. Oh. What the hell happened? He's... Vokova's been shot to death. No. Okay. That's just... Ben just turned around and shot him. 
Oh, you... What the hell? Oh, because he finished shooting that. Then he decided, yeah, better shoot him. Can't take chances. Oh, that's... That, I can't believe Voka but didn't make it. Oh, that's brutal. It's brutal. But this is a brutal game. This very unforgiving game. And done. Oh, I can't believe that. That is so sad. He gets to the last episode and get killed. Poor Vokova. Uh, let's unforbid the insect jelly. Right, get the hell out of there, guys. Oh, that is just brutal. It's just brutal. Okay, let's unrestrict everybody. Vokova. He was like one of our best... You know what? Before they... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's he, where's he gone? Here he is. Before they cart him off, I want to just look at his... Um, his, his oh, it, oh, here's his stats. Oh, it doesn't give you the full stats on him. No! I'll show you what I mean by the full stats. Oh, that's... Oh, that's a cheat. Oh, that's... That's a jip. When somebody dies, you should be able to look at all their stats. I'll, I'll show you with somebody who's still alive. So, well, where were we up to? We were looking around the base. So then we've got uh, we've got these couple of storerooms for the granite and uh, and slate blocks that get created in the work in the workshop. Oh yeah, the workshop. I I do wish that we'd made um, we'd done more tailoring, and I think we're going to do more tailoring in the future. Uh, why I'm cranking up a few more of these, I don't know because the, obviously they're not going to get made. But I just feel like. I don't know. I I, I want to feel like the colony's gonna go on after Sky and Nanny leave. Um, so yeah, the, we've got we've got the two stone cutting tables. They've worked out really well. The um, the two smelters have worked out really well. They've kept us just about supplied with steel, and we were up to a thousand steel again. And uh, the sculptor's table and the machining table have been have been just about right right right. Just having one of each, and then the two, the two component desks later in the game, perfect. Having the um, the comms table next to uh, next to Jim's room, so we can get there in the middle of the night, nice and quick. Stuff like that has worked out really well. We've got solar flare that's gone now. We've got a load of breakdowns. Uh, who's starving? Ripley. Ooh, Ripley's not well. She's really not well. She's gone completely loopy after the whole alien thing. Oh well, here's what it is. She's taken all her clothes off, dropped a rifle. I wanted to kit her out with an incinerator. I think that would have been kind of kind of good for her. What have we got now? A group of travellers are passing by. Don't really care too much. Uh, I do want to put this wall back in though. Let's put that wall back in. Alright. Keep it going. So... Over here, another suite of bedrooms. We've got another dining room, which is quite nice. This is this is interesting rather than impressive. This is the least impressive of our dining rooms. And I kind of wish I'd done a bit more in here. I, I, I kind of wish that I'd, I don't know, either extended it more so that we could have like a TV and some other stuff in here and just made it like nicer. Or... or you know, because we've only got that. This table's only good quality, uh, and uh, probably these chairs aren't that great. Yeah, that one's superior, normal, good, superior, good, good. Yeah, so like some better furniture in here would have just made it more impressive. And then people could have got the buff from that. Um, I swear, well, I was at one point going to split it into a dining room and a recreation room, but that, that kind of never, never really happened. Bunch of bedrooms. We've got plenty of heaters around the place in the corridors. Um, we survive pretty well during cold snaps and uh, and and heat waves now. Uh, I never got around to putting in the extra coolers down here, did I? Do you think I should put in the extra coolers now? Should I? So let's put in like one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put in seven coolers along there. Right, get on with that, guys. That needs to be hauled. What the hell's that doing there? I think probably somebody's probably dropped that. And then we're over into the into the storage rooms. 
Oh, they're just finishing off the floor smoothing over here. Haven't quite done it, but they have finished off the carpets. That's very good. We've got uh, a few bits and pieces that need to be hauled around here. Yeah, those and those. See if we can get those hauled before the end. And then, uh, and then, well, I guess we, we should talk probably about the power a little bit. So, oh, we've got another battery breakdown. <laughs> it never ends. We've got the wood store out here. That's never actually filled up. There's still a ton of wood out here which hasn't got hauled. You would have thought that would have got hauled by now. And I, like at the beginning of this episode, I actually changed the work schedule so that um, to, to prioritize some of the hauling, I actually dropped, like Nanny, I dropped her down to twos on the, the growing and mining. So she would just be focused on hauling. I, I did the same with Ben, because uh, like, she's a fast walker, he's a jogger. So he's like, and he's got bionic legs. So he should be blitzing the hauling. He should be all over that. My God, look at the blood in here. That's, I think that's from Ripley wandering around, bleeding everywhere. Jeez. I've also prioritized a couple of people on cleaning as well. So hopefully that's going to get cleaned up before the end. Uh, this is probably the thing that I'm the most pleased about. I think the armory was a, a really... A really good success. Look at that, we've got five miniguns, loads of pistols, the uh, survival rifles, sniper rifles is almost full, we've got seven out of eight, load of grenades, a couple of assault rifles, shotguns, and then look at that, charge rifles is full now. 16 charge rifles ready to be used. And then up here, no clothing, because obviously, this is what I was saying about the tailoring. Um, we definitely needed two tailor's desks for this many people. Like, at least two tailor's desks to churn out enough clothes for these people. Especially after we stopped, like, like murdering people indiscriminately. At that point, we definitely needed more tailors. Uh, power. The power situation, like, overall... Let's have a look at the grid. So, uh, it would have been, like, if I'd actually sectioned these off... Uh, and put in switches and whatever so that we could switch off the guns the power situation would have been like pretty much a walk in the park oh we've got new love oh before the end of the series who are the new lovers oh heads and amanda oh so heads has recovered from being dumped and he's hooked up with amanda amanda you're gonna regret it because he's a loser i'm telling you you should just don't do it there's no point telling them that. They like the bad boys. What can I say? Uh, so, yeah. So, we've got... Um, these defences have worked out very, very nicely. I've, I've learnt a huge amount about the defences. We will be adding in the next series um, something else. We're going to be building pillboxes, which um, some of you will be very familiar with. How are we doing for meat, by the way? Oh, look at this. We're up to 286 meals. I really should have put in the, the tiles for this area. Oh well, you can't get everything. Uh, we finished the tiles in this area, finished the tiles all around here. We finished the landing pad with the red lights and the green lights. We got all, we got all the paths around here. That looks so much better now, doesn't it? it that, before that just looked a mess and now it looks like almost kind of organized. Definitely got to do more with paths in the next series. The uh, the kitchen kitchen worked out pretty darn well, even though it's I, I mean it's not the I was going to say it's not the most optimized layout, but the whole thing with these two airlocks has worked out really well. And once we got the you know the stockpiles next to the desks and all of that sorted out, this has worked out kind of well. But I, if I was doing it again, I I would have that hops desk somewhere else. And like, I, I wouldn't have this arranged that way. I'd have it probably arranged more down here and have a couple of butcher's benches there and there and then the couple of stoves and then maybe a couple of brewers. But there are some issues with, with brewing in, because um, brewing's changed in Alpha 15. There are some issues with that at the moment, apparently. Keeping my eyes on the forums. Uh, this dining room has been awesome. This has been the center of all of our social gatherings, all the weddings that we've had. 
My God, and we've had a few. If um, if you look through it, who's um, who's married? Uh, not Raven. Well, Captain Jack and Brandywine are getting married. We've got. Uh, Oh yeah, with Jim, obviously Sky and Nanny were married when they got here. Jim and and little Sarah hooked up. Uh, we've got Artie and Wendy VB. They got married. Oh, Quinton and uh, and Anastasia. They haven't got married yet. Uh, Premier. He's married to Evie the Mouth, of course. Mason, Jen. They've just got married. So we got we've had like a lot of a lot of marries. Ex lover heads, who's just hooked up with uh, with Amanda Jonesy. Joan Z spent most of her time drunk, so I mean, she may well have scored, but she just wouldn't remember. Now, I, we were talking about stats, and I was talking about um, poor old Vocover, and we couldn't look at his stats. What I wanted to look at was this. If we look at Sky, we go to the information, and we go to the records, right? We can see, how long has he been here? Six years. We've been here six years, guys. Uh, you can see like how much time he's been in bed, how much time he's been in bed for medical reasons, how much time he spent on food and eating, entertainment, time in a mental state. He spent a year of his life hauling. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, he spent one day, 10 hours, firefighting. All the stuff. What I like looking at is like, shots fired, 1,650. Enemies downed, two mechanoids. 10 animals, uh, 10 humans, 21 enemies downed in all. He's killed 49 animals. Now, I want to have a look at somebody like Ben and see what they've done. Down here, I don't think there's like too much that's staggeringly interesting. It's like, you know, how much have you hauled and how much you've, how many plants? I mean, 16,000 plants. That's a lot of plants. How much you've mined, how many corpses you've buried. I mean, it's all in here. It's very, it's, it's very detailed. It's like, but why, like, if somebody's died, that's the moment you want to look at the stats, isn't it? I, that's why I was kind of surprised. Brandywine, 26 kills. Oh, she got a mechanoid. That's like a badge of honor, getting a mechanoid, I think. Six and a half thousand messes he's cleaned up. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, poor Vortex. Now, Creepy Baumy should have loads of kills, because he's been... Hunting like a crazy man. Yeah, 266. 263 animals he's killed. 30,000 damage he's done. Well done. Well done, creepy. Uh, Hunter Billico should be way up there as well. 272. Yeah, 31,000 damage done. Uh, oh, he's only killed one mechanoid though. That's kind of surprising. Now, Ben. I want to see how much stuff like he hauled and how many animals and killed it because he, he was he's the fastest he's been running up and down killing things so look oh look at this 185 kills when you consider that he's he's only been here two years compared with some of the other guys who've been here a lot longer uh, oh and he, he down a mechanoid oh badge of honor 22,000 damage not bad now this is the one how many times has Honklebriff gone berserk let's have a look how many times 22 times he's had a mental breakdown jeez enemies down 8 that's that's probably people that he's punched out when he's been in a psychotic state right should we finish off then so what we need to do to finish off uh, we looked at the defences. We can't. Yeah, I mean, we, we know about the the power situation. We got we got all but one of the uh, of the thermal vents done. I'll hunt that turkey. And uh, we put in like loads of uh, loads of solar power. We actually needed a bit more power generation, really. And we could have done with another battery room like this but the problem was always steel we were always up against it with steel and I don't know I think my management of my resources wasn't as good as maybe it could have been but I think overall like considering this was my my first like proper base I mean I, I'd played like a tiny bit before this um, I'm kind of pleased with how it's all turned out like overall 
certainly learned a lot and I think the next series is going to be kind of really interesting to see if I can then like put all of all of what I've learned into practice and uh, and make it pay off love the corridors I think the, the that's probably the corridors and the armory are the things that I'm like the most pleased about these rooms are quite nice as well I like I like how that's worked out the hospital the hospital I don't know I need to rethink the whole hospital thing and decide how I want hospitals to work do I want separate rooms or mm, and how like yeah how am I going to store medicine and food and stuff like that for use in the hospitals I could have done that probably a little bit better well not probably I could have done that a bit better what else what else what else is it yeah I think that's that's pretty much it yeah so yeah, I think it's I think it's time to launch the ship and get the hell out of here. So, oh, animals. Yeah, I suppose we should talk about the animals. Um, I should have tried to strike a better balance from the beginning between the uh, the herbivores and the car carnivores. We ended up with like way too many carnivores, and it uh, it put a strain on our meat, like a big strain on our meat. So certainly that's one big thing I'll learn from this. You um, you really need to kind of balance it, and probably heavier on the herbivores than on the carnivores, because it's way easier to grow food than it is to go and hunt it. So, so, um, so that's that. Yeah, pigs, pigs and wild boars, good for uh, good for hauling. Uh, Muffalo's kind of useless for hauling because they can't haul. Uh, Megatheriums are apparently slow, but I'm well, I kind of want to see that for myself. Certainly, in the next uh, in the next series, I want to be in a different type of biome so that we get different animals. It'd be nice to see some different types of animals, and I really, really, really want to try chickens because apparently chickens are freaking awesome. So yeah, love to try that. Oh, I, I, I did mention the uh, our little mausoleum down here. Oh, and it's kind of fitting. Sky is saying goodbye to all of the people who've died here before he goes and climbs into the spaceship. Oh, should we do it? Should we do a goodbye thing? Let's do a goodbye thing, go on. Oh, everybody's gathering to say goodbye to Sky and Nanny. You lot, I don't know, get in there. You're not in the kitchen, you idiots. Yeah, get around here, there we go. Even some of the animals are coming to say goodbye. Right, it's time for Sky and Nanny to go and get their asses. What, what, what's happening now? Oh, psychic drone. Yeah, time to leave. So, Sky, enter the crypto sleep ca casket, which I'm positive should be a cryo sleep casket, but it, it says crypto, so it is what it is. Uh, Nanny, you get into that one. Should we bring everybody up here? Right. All of you lot. Yeah, let's draft all of you. Come up here and say goodbye. Wave goodbye from up here. Come on, guys, move it. Oh, look at all the animals. Oh, look, here's Sky and Nanny going into there. Going into there. Should we? It takes them a little while to get in. There we go. Nanny's in. Sky's in. Everybody's gathered. Yeah, you guys come over there. Everybody's gathered up to say goodbye. Sky and Nanny, and, and of course, Bloke from the Southwest were the original three colonists who landed. Bloke didn't make it. I'm sure there's a little plaque on here dedicated to him and all the other fallen members of the community. Oh, sad. Sad thinking about the people who've died. Right, shall we do it? Let's do it then. So. Oh, I can't believe we're finally going to do this. So um, let's click on here. Show launch report. Ready for launch. Launch the ship. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> like right at the end, we get a, a group of pigs decide to join. Where were you? Freaking 40 episodes ago. So there you go. After 99 episodes, this is the big finale. Now, like... Don't build yourself up, because all you get is this. Oh, 
Oh, and you think, oh, now we're going to have some graphics of a, a ship launching. Ah, uh, no. You launch the ship. These colonists escape. Sky and Nanny. These colonists were left behind. Little Sarah, Artie, Jim, Vortex, Toby, Big Blonde, Quinton Quill, Premier 2K, Jen, Cubicle, Beck Stars, Captain Jack, Heads, Brandywine, Morbid, uh, Hunter Pillico, I got it, Wendy, uh, Joan, Creep Sam, Ori, Copper Top, Crafty Top, I can't know, run out! <laughs> there you go, guys. Uh, the next series will be starting as soon as I can get the colony set up. Um, but, oh, shall I let you in? Okay, I'm going to tell you what the next series is going to be about. The next series is going to be about Sky and Nanny, right, going back to their business that they were running when they got shot down. How did they get shot down? How did their ship crash land? Yeah, it was a drug, drug bust that went very wrong for them because, yeah, they're actually drug smugglers and uh, arms dealers. Oh yeah, you're going to want to come back for the next series. I will catch you for that very soon. Peace out, guys.